This is Sundrop Farm, located near Port Augusta in South Australia. It's a state-of-the-art hydroponic farm that is thriving in the Australian desert. Without the use of groundwater, soil, pesticides or fossil fuels to grow crops. Instead, it uses seawater and sunlight to cultivate crops. And as a result, it can produce a whopping 18,000 tonnes of tomatoes a year, which accounts for 15% of Australia's annual produce. This thriving commercial agriculture system can create and control an optimal environment for growth all year round. It does this by controlling the climate and irrigation inside its greenhouses to ensure the fruit and vegetables have exactly the right levels of nutrients, light, water, temperature and carbon dioxide needed to flourish. This in turn improves the taste as well. Sundrop Farm uses its solar panels to desalinate seawater and processes over 1 million litres of water per day, turning the Southern Ocean seawater into fresh irrigation water. It does this by pumping water from the nearby Spencer Gulf and then it's desalinated through a solar-powered thermal unit. Then sustainably sourced fertilizers and micronutrients are added to the water. This nutrient-rich water mixture hydrates the tomato plants, which are grown in coconut husks instead of soil. The coconut husks, which are renewable resource, also helps root growth thanks to their natural hormones. Sundrop Farm is equipped with a set of 23,000 mirrors that generate solar power by reflecting sunlight for more than 375 foot high receiver tower. When it's sunny, it can produce up to 39 megawatts of electricity. Impressively, this is sufficient supply to power the desalination system and the remaining facility's power needs. Excess thermal heat and water are kept in storage facilities on the farm to use when needed. As mentioned, the use of harsh pesticides is then needed to kill insects due to the pumping of seawater through the facility's air filters. This is due to the high salt content in the water-saturated air. This hydroponic farm with its desalination plant is ideal for places with no fresh water, inhospitable land or harsh climate. That's all for today and if you enjoyed this video, please follow or subscribe for more videos like these. I'll see you again very very soon.